The wait is finally over and mockups are now ready for you to use in Kittle. And I'm gonna show you exactly where to find it and how to use your designs to mock up on things like shirts and cups and bags and everything you need all right in Kittle. So let's go ahead and get started right now. All right, in Kittle, let's pick a template to put on a mockup. Now let's go to t-shirts. I'm gonna type in streetwear cause that's been very popular lately. And I'm looking for a more retro style streetwear design, maybe with a nice little mascot. I like this one right here, Smiling Sunflowers. That's awesome. Uh, so let's go ahead and put that in here. Then we can click the X. Now, this has a really, really cool texture on it. As you can see over in the right, we have the alpha mask on and we have a mock-up feature up here we're going to use in just a second. But... What we're gonna do is make sure this is clipped to the content it is, so this mask is gonna only apply to the content. Then I need to take the background off because the mock-up, the shirt or whatever, is already gonna have a color behind it, right? So now what I'm gonna do is just speed through making a couple of little adjustments. I want this to say can't stop, won't stop. I want this to say dancing sunflowers, you know, just so we don't use exactly the same template. Okay, so now that's ready to go. I just need to click mock-up and then boom some magic is going to happen and then now we're in the mock-up generator or the mock-up studio or whatever you want to call it so now we can size this up and our text has disappeared right because it's black but all we need to do is go to the mock-up color and select a different color and so boom now our design is back and you can choose any kind of color for your shirt or your bag or your whatever your coffee cup your poster you can choose from a variety and you can see this texture the alpha mask has still been applied on top of the mock-up. I really love this one right here because uh, it's actually behind part of the jacket, which I think is such a cool feature. And this really shows your customers how realistic this could be. So let's pick kind of a nice creamy color and look at that. It's just so cool. You can really get a super realistic effect with these mock-ups and designs so that when you're posting on shops like Etsy or whatever, your viewer knows what it's gonna look like maybe when they wear a jacket or something. Let's go ahead and pick a hoodie or a sweater uh, maybe one on the back side that shows what the design looks like on the back of a shirt. Let's pick this one right here, this hoodie right here. This is really cool. Uh, and so now all we need to do is size this up again. Now, most of the time it is going to default to black. Don't fear. All you have to do is go in here and change the color. It's really, really easy. And you can find one that works super well with your design. And this is nice for you. Even before listing it on your site, you kind of get an idea for what the color of the project is going to look like with the colors of your design. So we have flat lays, we have tote bags. Let's pick a tote bag just to see what it's gonna look like. Let's find one. Uh, I like this one right here that's kind of sitting on the log. Um, again, it's defaulting to that black, no worries. Let's size it up and then let's make it that kind of burlapy uh, yellow tinge look. I think that's pretty close right there. And what you'll notice is as I move it around here, it's kind of you know warping correctly with the curve of the bag, right? It's really, really cool. So you can continue to get realistic style designs realistic style products with the design here you can do everything from pillows and cups but let's pick a wall art one and then i'm going to show you how to download it so let's pick one that i think might be cool for this one a really big uh, rectangle this one's really nice right here so let's wait for that to generate in boom now let's size up our design change the color of the background maybe instead of yellow this time let's go over here to like a off pinkish that's really cool i think that works well with these colors size it up even a little bit bigger i think that's super super cool now if we want to download this image uh all we can all we have to do is go and click on download mock-up over on the right side so once we're done we can either upload it to our uploads if we don't want to use it right now or we can download it so boom let's download it and then I can drag it over for you to see. Boom, it's nice and big, nice resolution. Uh, again, this is gonna depend on the plan that you're using, but this is super easy to get high quality mockups without having to go anywhere else. Now, if I wanna go back to the editor, boom, I just click back to the editor and there I am. So I know you're gonna have an amazing time using the mockup feature. And by the way, if you haven't already signed up for Kittle AI to get 100 credits, you need to join that wait list. The link is in the description and this is the last day that you can join that wait list before we end that offer. So if you want 100 AI, credits to play with in Kittle, go ahead and join that wait list. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. Now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.